I am Marie Hensinger and I teach sociology here at Chandler Gilbert. And like Carolina, I think I'll hold my pertinent information until uh, until later, but I'm happy to be here and I love OER. So a little bit about me. Um, I am a Chandler Gilbert alum and have been teaching here since 2012. I received an OIO in 2018 and then got full-time, full-time permanent in 2019. I was really resistant to OER at first because I really loved the publisher's extras that they would give you, like the instructor guides and the slides and the test banks and all that stuff that makes your life a little bit easier. So I did resist it for a while, but students would complain that the textbook would cost, you know, upwards to $120. And as a sociologist, I'm very concerned with inequities and equalities in our society. And we know that community college students tend to come from more uh, low income, disadvantaged backgrounds. So to make education more accessible, I decided to try OER. And there was a couple of different options I looked at. Uh, Alyssa provided me with an OpenStax OER book for sociology, which was very good. I ended up going with a website called A Sociology Experiment. And what's cool about this website is that each chapter is written by a sociologist with expertise area, content area in that particular chapter. So sociology is really broad. We cover everything from education to family to crime to culture to social class and stratification. And so it's impossible for us to be experts in all of these different fields. And so they draw upon different expertise areas and they each write their own chapter. So there's pros and cons to this. Each chapter has a slightly different tone and voice, but that's also kind of cool. You get a, a diversity of different voices. So I love this text because all of those extras that I was so fond of comes with the website. For instructors, the website comes with PDFs, an instructor guide with data exercises, suggested media. It comes with the test bank. It comes with lecture slides. It comes with YouTube lecture videos and also audio recordings of the PDF. So if a student would rather listen, versus read or listen and read, that's an option as well. And they actually have like discussion sessions and they call them like sociology sessions. So they're podcasts and basically it's like a discussion in a class. They sample some students and they, they discuss the material and it's, it's kind of fun to just listen in on a class discussion that way. What I really like about this book is that they update it so frequently. They update it every semester. And so like in 2020, when, when everything went down with COVID and Black Lives Matter and George Floyd, that was updated in the textbook two months later for us to, to use and for students to really get current events. So I love that. With any textbook, there's, there's weaknesses. There are some concepts that aren't covered that my old textbook used to cover, but I think that could be rectified with supplemental materials. So there's really not a whole lot of downsides to it. And when students purchase the book, it's automatic accessibility. So they get automatic access to the PDF and the audio recording. So there's not that lag of like, oh, I'm waiting for Amazon to send it. And you know, mm -hmm. two weeks later, they have easy access to it. And what's nice too, is that each chapter is a la carte. So there's 16 available. I think I used like 12 or 13. Um, just to meet the kind of course competencies. And so they don't have to purchase the entire book. They can purchase week by week. And the authors, the website people, they have also said that if a student has trouble purchasing the book for a dollar a chapter, that they will work with the students to get them access for free. And of course we have the PDF, we could send it to them, but they're asking for a dollar. I assume it's for the, the upkeep costs. So I, I try to encourage students to actually buy it. You know, a student, I haven't even asked them for feedback on the book, but a student just kind of randomly sent me a message thanking me for using the, the low cost book because she has to buy so many expensive books as a nursing student. So that was nice to hear. And so far, so good. My adjuncts seem to like the textbook as well, although they, they have some minor critiques, but that's with every book. <laughs>